Hey guys, good afternoon. It is almost 2 p.m. my time on Wednesday. Um, I'm not ignoring you. I just I haven't been vlogging because I woke up with a migraine this morning. And it's gone, but I still have a headache. And I've been trying to watch TV in this in the bedroom. And um, the freaking power keeps going out, and it's pissing me off. And it's only in the bedroom, like... I don't know what's going on with the breaker and why it keeps doing it. It's happened three times now, and I'm just getting frustrated. So I turn off the TV, and now I'm just watching It's Judy time. I'm catching up with some videos. Hey, guys. So um, I took a super epic nap. I feel much better, and now I'm watching Lizzie's non-dominant hand challenge. Um, my hair was in a bun, and it's greasy as heck, and I was thinking, hey, let's, hair let's color it, except... Um, yeah, no, it looks bad. It's really oily, so I don't think I can color it, like, right now. And I was told you shouldn't color your hair when it's really, really clean, so I'm not really sure. But then again, I just read on a website that you actually want your hair to be clean. It just has to be completely dry. Anyway, I'm going to keep watching Lizzie. I just wanted to say hi, and then I'm not dead, and I just took, like, a super duper epic nap. And um, now I'm just chilling. Okay, change of plans. I'm going to flat iron my second day hair and then just trim it dry. Um, usually, I, it doesn't matter if I trim it wet or dry, but if I'm going to trim it dry, it has to be straight. Because if you're like trimming crooked hair, then when it's straight, it's you're going to have weird lengths. So you want to make sure your hair is completely straight before you cut it. So I'm going to flat iron my hair and then I'm just going to cut. I'm not going to dye my hair tonight. Maybe. I'm not sure if I do. Um, I'll talk to Tina first because I'll need some help because I got a lot of hair. I got a lot of hair. It may not be thick, but I got a lot. First cut. That's what it looks like. It's uneven. Um, I wasn't trying to make it even. I was just trying to cut a chunk off. Look at how much hair I just cut off. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's all worth it though, right? Right? Am I doing the right thing? Please tell me I'm doing the right thing. Uh, I'm so tired of messing with my hair, so I'm cutting it. It's not that short, it's still like pe way past my collarbone, but yeah. It's happening! <laughs> hey guys, it's official! I cut my hair. I'm gonna, um, ooh, sorry, I look fat. Uh, <laughs> my short hair makes me look fat. I should have kept the long hair. Anyway, I hope you guys can see, but I'm gonna re straighten it and then I'm gonna take a picture and then post a before and after. But I cut off a total of five inches. Oh my gosh. I was not intending to cut off five inches. But I kept trimming and trimming and trimming. And now I'm at five inches. I didn't realize I had that much hair to lose. Um, it was so long. But I feel good now because it's so hot here in Florida. Um, I couldn't handle the freaking long hair. I was like sweating into it. It was just it's hot. Good morning. It is Thursday and I'm about to film my DD cream review before work. I figure I will do a really quick review and application and then just kind of talk about the product and then get ready for work and head out. Um, I am feeling much better today than yesterday. I did not film while we were at um, Ruby Tuesdays because Tino and I were talking business for the entire time and so I didn't really want to like interrupt our conversation and vlog. So, I officially dislike construction workers. It's raining and I had to put the trash out and they were like making fun of me because I wore my rain jacket to put my put the trash out. But you know what? <laughs> Whatever. At least I'm not soaked in there. And they have to work in this crap, so you know what? They can laugh because I get to go and work in a cubicle and not have to worry about that shit. So anyway, I am now leaving for work. Uh, I just filmed my DD cream review. It was obviously a negative one, as you guys can probably see. My face is super shiny. I have blotted and I have applied powder and it's still really shiny. Um, that DD cream is just no bueno. It is just too, too, too wet and it is just overly moisturizing like it's great as just a moisturizer 
but it like is terrible as a foundation. So it is whatever, but I'm glad that I was able to film it. I'm actually kind of feeling like poop this morning. <clears throat> I don't feel as bad as I did yesterday. And pretty much what's going on is it is rainy season and rainy season means it brings on a lot of um, climate change and climate change is bad for me because anytime there is bad climate change uh, it usually spurs bad migraines um, I get that I used to get that way in Colorado when we would go from like transitioning to between seasons I would literally like go into like migraine back to back to back migraines because one day would be like rainy the next day it would be snowy and then the next day it would just be like nothing and i'm like seriously okay guys uh i am at not an eighth of a tank but definitely between an eighth and a quarter of a tank and so uh i need to get gas but i'm almost wondering if i can get gas near the house because I don't really want to have to pull over and get gas anywhere near here because pretty much my drive is pretty straightforward like uh, I have like three lights to get home it's absolutely freaking amazing like I go get off base which there's no lights on base and there's two lights just outside of the gate before you get to um, the causeway and then the causeway you use a ramp and then to get onto the interstate you use a ramp and then to get off the interstate you use a ramp and then you hit the third light which is like right before my house and then I get to my house so like oh sorry I'm not picking my nose it's itchy um so what to get home it literally takes me three stoplights like zero stop signs and uh, it's just like a smooth drive because it's all like highways interstate driving or like base driving which usually there's not like a traffic jam because everybody drives the same speed anyway unless there's some they're moving something like a rocket which that happens or stadium seating that happens too um so oh my gosh i feel like i have nose hairs like falling out right now <sighs> anyway so that being said like if i want to get gas that means i have to like get off somewhere and like drive around wherever to get gas and really the easiest place to get gas that doesn't really like impact my drive home is like stopping at the gas station um, by my house oh hey guys so I've got ground turkey I browned it and then um, now I just put some white wine in there like cooking wine to get the brown bits off the bottom and then uh, I've got pasta boiling and then I'm going to add some tomato sauce, some sugar and uh, we're going to have some turkey pasta tonight for dinner. Dang it, now it's behind oh, the trailer. It'll come out. I can see. I can see its feet. It'll come out on the other side. We're trying to find a raccoon. Can you see it? He's walking under the trailer. It looks like he's laying under it now. He's still walking. Oh, there he is. It's a coon. It's the coon. Dicky. Oh my god. Where's it going? Its back is all arched. Look at that. It's weird. Oh, is it okay? I think it's just like. I don't care. Are they die. dangerous or something? Yeah, they can, they can track rabies. Oh, well, okay. Let's not let the dogs yeah, out. Let's not let the with them. Yeah. Because they will attack their feisty little bastard. Hey, Dizzy. Hi, Chubbs. Hey, the other bears. Hi bears. Can't hang out with coons, okay? Guess what, guys? Boom! Who has a monitor now? So now I can um, film and see myself on the monitor, which is really cool because I'm terribly blind. And when I don't wear my glasses, like today, I can now use the monitor to see whether or not things are working. And as you can see, um, it's like focusing. You can see the little areas for...